Welcome everyone to Juno Suggest Commentary. I'd like to thank you guys so very much for supporting Juno Suggest Commentary. As I said, guys, just know that the video will be a bit dark. I will appear a bit dark because I'm depending on natural light. Because as you know, we were affected. My country was affected by Hurricane Maria, and right now I have no electricity for a while now. So possibly I will be in darkness for a while. So I have to try my best to do the video reaction the best time of the day when it's at its brightest. This video is entitled 25 amazing things to do in Bangkok, Thailand. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting this video. Of course, guys, subscribe to Juno's with just commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to a video, of course, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Mmm, interesting. Food and travel, Thailand. Bangkok, Thailand. Very nice scenery. Ooh, wow. 25 things to do in Bangkok, Thailand. Wow! Wow! The food, the amazing food. Bangkok, Thailand is a fascinating Southeast Asian city that offers something amusing for everyone. Sometimes wow. referred to as the Big Mango, Bangkok is an important international hub and the home of over 12 million residents. Food. This food. video includes 25 of the best things to do in Bangkok. So let's jump wow. right in and get started exploring this magical, tasty, and diverse city. Number one wow. is Bangkok, Wang Thailand, Market, which is located Wang Wang in the city. Oh, food! There's a stall that makes deep fried oh, wow. sized pieces of pork that will wow. literally melt in your mouth. Oh, it's Mark! Mark is another Mark famous Wing. treat at Wang Wang Market. Number two is the gigantic Chakachak Weekend Market, Chak -a -chak. including over 5,000 permanent stores. And if you check the makeshift stalls and hawkers, Ooh, market, cute, 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 the number cute, of vendors is closer to 15,000, making Cha 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 wow. the largest market in Thailand. Check a check. Number three is Klong Thai Market, the Klong Thai bread basket of Bangkok. The biggest, most bustling, fresh, wet market in central Bangkok. Fresh, wet market. Lots of food to buy here. We're gonna check this out. The entire so it's like more of an organic kind of market. Are available at Klong Thai, wow. Including a few interesting Banana. and extremely Ooh, fish. exotic foods if you look in the right places. Number oh, wow. four is to visit the floating market. And floating market. I remember I watched a video about the, the floating market and it is amazing and interesting. Though Bangkok wow. floating markets are a little Thai touristy, they are a mm. great place to spend a day of leisure Thai and eating wonderful food. It's wow. kind of like a sweet tomato juice. Is that like uh, carrot? Oh, whoa, tomato what tomato food is that? That's, that's what it tastes like. That's wow, good. what food is that? Number five is Platunam Market. Platuna. Platunam Market, which is one of the busiest... Is it like a clothing? Clothing market is often a major component of any visit to Bangkok. Wow. And Platinum Market specializes in wholesale clothing. A Number lot of clothing. MBK Shopping Center, a mega mall Sounds interesting. Oh, it's a mega mall. Itself. Wow. Clothes, souvenirs, wow, wow, and wow, 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 wow. On the sixth floor are a few of the draws. Number seven that is a is lot, a lot, market, a lot. A high quality fresh Oh, Juma! I just saw Juma. Did you see? The aisles are wide and clean and the produce is nothing but the finest. There's also a great selection of hawker stalls serving delicious Oh my gosh. Food. That is a lot of food. One dollar and sixty cents. Rice Bangkok and two Suset items. Zoo is number eight. Hey, I'm here to mm. Zoo. I would want to introduce, Central I want to um, visit the zoo. It would be in interesting to visit the zoo. lions or tigers that decide to escape. There's a good selection of street food right outside <laughs> really? the zoo to distract them as you run through your uh. <laughs> the west is Lumpini Park. Located Lumpini just north of Park. the Silom district. Surrounded Ooh. by tall wow. buildings. This is like a sanctuary of Wow, wow, wow. I remember how all Botanical like Garden looked nice and clean and green, but right now the hurricane really affected it, eh? It's really affected by the hurricane. I must go and do a video there for you to see. It's a sanctuary <laughs> where crows and monitor lizards reside. Wow. Don't miss the evening public And those dangerous sessions. The lizards. Papa, pa, look at all that. Look at all they are there, guy. It does. Four dollars and cents. So, okay, that sounds interesting. <laughs> a time massage can actually be quite painful. Oh, wow. But keep in mind oh, that. Always ask the masseuse to take it easy on you. 
Take it easy, take it easy. Located in the heart of Bangkok. So I'm standing outside of Bangkok's Grand Palace and what to have it to enter. One of the most famous attractions. Do you think the same thing can be used as some other okay? So I'm not gonna go in today, but definitely if you come to Bangkok, you've got to check out the Grand Palace and what Wow, that looks of a neat environment. Very clean and neat. One of the most iconic landmarks in Bangkok. If a tuk -tuk wow. driver approaches you and tells tuk -tuk. you the palace is closed for the day, it's probably a scam. And instead, Ooh. walk yourself to the main entrance gate to get in. So I'm gonna enter the Why would they tell you that it's closed for the Just day? Just behind the Grand Palace is number 12. Oh, yeah, look at the shoe. That's a lot of shoes. Wow. The golden reclining Buddha. Wat Pho wow. is also famous as being the birthplace of the Thai traditional massage. Like right, real gold? Number 13 is Wat wow. Aru, the Temple of Dawn. So it have a lot of temples in Bangkok, Thailand. Which is one of the coolest temples in all of Bangkok. The fine sculpture details and the steep climb to the Whoa. top level of the temple. Can you imagine how long it took to build this? And the monk, how patience it took to do all the architectural detail. It's a nice view from there for sure. Number 14 is Wat Saket. Also known as the Golden Mountain. <laughs> free! Which is also known it's as free! Temple, which is the Golden Mountain, Bangkok's Golden Mountain. The 318 wow. stairs to the top. Oh, that's why it's free, because that's a lot, a lot. Decline. And your oh, effort okay. is rewarded with fantastic panoramic views of Bangkok. Oof, splendid! Number 15 is the Erewhon Museum. Famous Erewhon Museum. Elephant. The elephant. Within the three-headed elephant is an impressive museum. While the beautiful gardens that surround the complex wow. are neatly manicured and make it perfect that is place a to serious, take a peaceful serious stroll. sculpture. Number 16 is the Women Mick Mansion. Women Mick Mansion. Largest golden teak mansion. So unfortunately, wow, no pictures? Inside, oh, wow, no pictures, no water. Oh. Just finished the tour. It took wow. About 30 minutes. Really cool inside, no cameras allowed. So PC, I guess, still I used to tell and I'll see it. And restaurants. Kausan Road is number seven. Kaus I heard of Kausan Road. I heard of Kausan Road. Thailand. Located just outside Bangkok, Thailand. Awesome. The area of Siloam is number 18. Siloam. And at daytime, this is the central business district of the city. And at night, looks, it turns into it looks a very market. simple in that environment there. Stalls, shopping, starting at about 5 p.m. Yeah, Businesses wow. and banks control the day, while night markets and the famous Pat Pong Street take over at night. Siloam is yet another and area banks. in Bangkok, oh, wow. where there's nice abundance food. of street food available everywhere you look. One dollar? Wow. At number 19 is Victory Monument. And since it's a Victory. Of Bangkok, the roundabout is full of shopping, food, and entertainment. Don't skip the meal at Boat Noodle Alley. A collection wow. of canal side restaurants next My to the monument that serve bowls of pure pork. 32 cents? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number mm. three is durian fruit. Durian. The shell is spiky and intimidating. It's flesh oh. is sweet like nectar. I have to, I have to like get my hand on a durian fruit. Tom? Whoa. That's a big one, eh? That should be experienced by wow. anyone that visits Bangkok. Durian fruit. Smell, Yo. Pudding texture. In my opinion, oh, a like, is the absolute yeah, heaven <laughs> on earth. <laughs> Look at it, back is like. <laughs> Thai street food and home style restaurants is number 21. Street food from Fresh Thailand. Herbs, spicy chilies, zesty wow, lime rice. And a host of tropical fruits and vegetables. Ooh, delicious. All combined to make Thai food intensely appetizing. Wow, 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 wow. Rated as one of the wow. top cities in the world for dining. They are so fast and doing it. Paradise reputation won't let you down. Fancy sit down restaurants are great, but in my opinion, it's the street side stalls. Yeah, I remember he said that before in another video. That serve the best wow. Cuisine. The locals do best. Wow, 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 oh my god. I was trying to get hungry. <laughs> Yo, look at all that delicious food. Whoa. A Thai feasting experience <laughs> will 
grill your taste buds and keep eat a after, smile eat on your after, face. Eat after, eat after, eat after, eat after, eat. <laughs> wow, 40 to 100. Oh, cooking class, okay, that makes sense. There are yeah, you just learned something, of course. Professional cooking schools to, to street style home cooking courses. Wow. Often a cooking All right, are the model is style home cooking courses. Market, followed by preparing a set menu of a number of different dishes. Don't Whoa. worry, you'll get to eat what you cook too. <laughs> Yo. Wow. What is that? Is that like mango? Guava? Looking? Very strong. Little in there. A little slice of India in the heart of Bangkok. Mm, wow. African clothing, chai, and never would have thought. Are all available in this concentrated area of merchants. What is that? Oh, that was always support tea before. It was hot. Poured from one India glass to another. What was that? <sighs> wow. Look at that. Position, Delicious. Pakkong Talat Flower Market. Is that like literally flowers? Oh. Nice. Do they um, sell real plants? I wonder if they sell only real plants. Wow. That is what you say. Bangkok's, Bangkok's Chinatown. <laughs> Gold stores, wow. Lottery ticket vendors, Chinese medicine dealers, and exotic Whoa. food markets all at What? Oh, oh my god, that's a big! <laughs> Street food and seafood restaurants <laughs> take over and don't stop serving until the wee hours of the night. Wow. Or don't stop serving until everyone goes to bed. <laughs> all things big. Also located in Yawarat is an intensely busy shopper's paradise that includes wow. an unfathomable range of knickknacks. That's a lot of so shopping. So whether you choose to go on a shopping rampage, a street food ah, pilgrimage, a speech. Visit, I like how I said that. Cultural museum trip, street food no doubt pilgrimage. The steamy hot capital of Thailand Bangkok. They got it all. <laughs> Great video. I loved it. I really loved it. Amazing video. It's amazing. Thailand is great. Bangkok is great. People of Thailand are great. Thank you, Mark Will, for this awesome video. Thank you very much for requesting it. Of course, guys, don't forget, as I said, subscribe, subscribe. June's with just a commentary. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.